AI just keeps on getting better and I used AI for creating a CMA report for a listing presentation that I just went to and let me tell you. If you're watching on YouTube, got it right here. If not, don't worry about it. We're gonna go over it. And if you need the prompt, just message me on YouTube and Instagram. This is an amazing prompt, what I did. I'll go through it with you. I printed it out on a Google Doc, tweaked a couple of things, made sure that it matched my vision of what it should look like, and the clients were absolutely in love with the detailed information. Let's go through this. Welcome my real estate friends. This is your daily real estate where I try to, for the most days, for most days, I try to do a five to eight minute podcast or YouTube, wherever you're watching, just to get you in the right direction for real estate, where we're all heading, what you should be doing. Let's get right into this one. This one's going to be fun. I've got the prompt here for you. Here's how it reads. If you're watching, don't worry. If you're listening, don't worry. It's the same thing. I start with the role. I said, hey, this is who you're going to be, ChatGPT, or you know, we're going to try it on Gemini too, but this is who you're going to be. And then I'm going to say, deliver this report only for this specific area. I'm going to ask for comparable sales for the track. And then I have the method, right? So let's go over it really quick. These are important things that you need to be paying attention to. When you're creating this prompt for AI to give you a CMA that's more accurate than not, I would start with a simple prompt and say, hey, whatever AI you're using, say, hey, create a prompt that gives me the comparative market analysis for a home in real estate by simply just adding the address, right? And the condition of the home. And then you can expand it from there. That's how I started and then I tweaked it all the way through. Well, what I got was something way better than I anticipated. And I'm gonna read a couple of things to you just off of my screen and you're gonna want this if you're watching on youtube i'm just gonna share this if you're listening don't worry about it we're gonna go through it in detail this way you can also keep track all right here's what i've got if you are listening in i'm showing a google doc and it says podcast number 569 the cma prompt and it says at the top copy and paste prompt single tracked price analysis so if you want to change it, you can. And I say, hey, here's your role. You're my senior real estate valuation analyst with direct MLS access. And that can tweak, right? You can change it with direct access to homes all across the United States, right? You could change that up too. Here are the inputs. Now, this is where you have to change things because depending on what you want, you're going to have to add things. The inputs are important. I put inputs. Replace only the bracketed text. Got it? Perfect. Okay, that, that falls on me. Property address. And you see there's a bracketed section. That means after the property address, I'm going to put in the actual property address. And so I put for the for the one I actually did print it out, right? I did it there. Next, it says track name, exact subdivision, right? The one I did was for Conejo Oaks. And then target list price, you could put optional. Um, I, I would say here, you could also say um, property condition, right? You could also add that. I left it out. I wanted to play around with it. I felt for me, this was a little bit better. And that's it. If you want to add inputs here to make it more detailed, you can. And, and I will as I expand on this. Next, deliver this report only to scenario headlines as is and fully renovated because I went in for a fixer. Number two, key numbers at a glance, bed, baths, interior, they'll pull that out. The AI software that you're using will pull it out of the MLS. So no issues. Or we'll pull it out of Redfin or Realtor.com or Zillow or Homes.com or everywhere else. Number three, comparable sales, track name only. So I'm going to put my track because I don't want it to go outside of my track. And then I put list six to 12 month recent closing inside the track grouped by tier, fixer, mid-market, high-end, ultra-premium. You could put luxury there instead of ultra-premium, uh, but what it's going to give me, the address, the close date, the dollar amount it sold for, the square footage price-wise and square footage, and then the condition. And to me, that's important because it's putting them all together. So I can then take a look and say, wow, this 
this is accurate, this is not, I should tweak this one, this one's too far out, right? Then it'll give me active and pending. Then it'll give me takeaways, like bullet point highlights of the price per square foot spread across tiers, which is, that one was really good. Uh, recommended strategy, and this is where I went in and I tweaked some things based on my knowledge, and then a plain English wrap up. Here's what you should do. Here's how it should roll out. And that is where you also go in and tweak some things to make it your own. The method, internal, uh, omit from report. This is just the method in which it's gathering the data, right? So you may want to tweak this one on your own. I put pull data from Zillow, Redfin, Realtor.com, County Records, and the MLS filtering strictly uh, two, and then I put the track name. If fewer than six sales exist in the past 12 months, go back up to 24 months, but flag older comps, right? Because it's important in our industry. Use Thousand Oaks remodel cost. Again, I made it go local to Thousand Oaks because that's where this listing was or is. Uh, cite every data point in line with brackets. Like tell me where you got this information from so I can go and take a look as well. Redfin, Zillow, Homes, Realtor, what? Or, uh, and then I put reference today's date and no AI cliches, no process discussion, deliver the finished report only. And that's exactly what I did. And I want you to try this. I don't want to go through the results here because I want you to put input your own address and I want you to try on Gemini. I have not tried it there. I, I literally just refined this and went to the listing presentation yesterday. Amazing results. The people were like, wow, Tristan, you are so detailed. This is great. And you know how long it took me? Not a long time. But I also know the area very well, so I can go through the document. I'm like, oh, no, not that. Oh, added this. Oh, and then I went ahead. If you look at this on the screen, if you're not, don't worry. I've got the report here, right? And it's four pages. And I went ahead and highlighted the area that I thought was important for the client to look at. And I gave everyone that was part of this, that was sitting there at the presentation, a copy with their highlighted section. And then I went over mine. We talked about it. They had questions. We expanded on it. Please give this one a try. You're going to love it. I'll see you tomorrow. If you need more AI ones, I have a couple more prompts if you missed that you will absolutely love. One of them is the social media prompt. You're going to have to watch that video. Hopefully it's the next video that pops up here so you can watch that one. If you're listening, go take a look at or go listen to the social media prompt. It builds out your persona and your pillars on social media. Have an awesome day.